Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for another DIY makeover video. We are going to completely transform my powder room and I am going to show you exactly how we did everything. We are going to transform this space and give it a nice fresh updated look, changing out the hardware, the mirror, lighting fixtures, painting, adding wallpaper, building shelves, building a vanity. We're doing all of the things today. Today's video is brought to you by Heart Tools, exclusively sold at Walmart. So a huge thank you to Heart Tools and Walmart for partnering with me on today's video to bring you another DIY makeover. I am so excited to share this video with you and completely transform this space and walk you through everything that we did. So let's just get started. If you guys are ready for another makeover video, give this video a thumbs up and I am just so excited to dive right into it. This is the space before we are gonna completely transform it. Like I said, we are gonna give it a new coat of paint. We are gonna get rid of all of the chrome old hardware and we are just gonna give this space a fresh updated look, a little bit more modern feel to it, but not too modern. And we are just gonna completely transform the space. I'm gonna show you easy ways to update your space on a budget. We are gonna DIY and we are gonna get it all done today. We are gonna be removing this cabinet painting the walls, adding wallpaper, and adding some black fixtures. I'm so excited about it. The after is absolutely insane, so stick around, continue watching. I have a huge makeover to show you. First and foremost, we are going to prep this bathroom and we are gonna remove everything. We are gonna start by removing the pedestal sink today, turning off the water, and then we are gonna cut all of the caulking around the sink that is actually holding it to the wall and then just pull it away from the wall. It's not really secured to the wall very well. There is a little metal piece in the back and it kind of just has the sink propped up on there. So I'm gonna take my heart cutting tool and we are gonna remove all of the caulk around the sink and then just pull it off, get this thing off of the wall so that we can get everything in here prepped. We are gonna start by removing all the things like I just mentioned and then we are going to go back in and we are gonna spackle any holes that need to be repaired before we get to any painting. Removing everything was fairly easy. It didn't take a super long time. This was probably the quickest part of the whole makeover was getting everything taken off of the walls because it basically was just unscrewing everything. There wasn't a ton of stuff to remove. It wasn't anything too crazy. This makeover was a lot easier to do than any of the ones that I have done in the past where I'm painting the cabinets and doing all of that stuff. So I had a really fun time with this one. I'm super excited for this video, not only because the makeover is really amazing, but I am like an official DIY person. I have my own tools now. Usually I use my husband's, but I got my own tools. I got the heart line of tools from Walmart and I am just so excited about them. I got this power drill and it works really, really well. And I'm one of those people where I want something to be pretty and functional and these tools are both of those. They have really rave reviews, so I'm gonna link anything that I can down below in the description box, so if you are looking for tools, I am also going to be linking the vanity that we're going to be using, the towel holders, the light fixture, the mirror, pretty much everything will be linked down below in the description box, so look there. If it is not linked, let me know in a comment and I will try to find a link for you guys, but pretty much everything should be in the description box. So if you are looking for something that I am using in this video, it will be linked there. Time 
time to spackle and then we are going to get to painting. I am going to paint one of the walls that did not need any spackling while the spackling is drying, trying to get this makeover done as fast as possible. So a tip for you that I shared in my most recent master bathroom makeover is if you're trying to get behind your toilet to get paint back there, put a trash bag over your toilet and then just tape it up. This is a great way to eliminate getting paint on your toilet. I am going to be using Glidden High Endurance Plus Interior Paint and Primer. This stuff was awesome. I am going to be using an eggshell finish, which is not something that I usually use, but this was so beautiful. And I picked the color Minimalist White because I love a white and bright bathroom. I love white and bright homes. They're nice and airy and fresh. So we are gonna paint this bathroom white and open it up a little bit, brighten it up because it just feels kind of like a blue dungeon in here. And I like to put paint or tape, painter's tape on the rim of my paint gallon so that it's not getting in the well of the paint gallon. So that it's not sticking there when I go to put the lid back on. And then we're just gonna roll this paint on. It did take a couple of coats to cover up the wall because my walls are very, very textured, but this has great, great coverage. So those of you who have less textured walls, I'm sure you could get it done probably in one coat. I did two coats on most spots and then some areas needed a third little coat. Once I was done with the painting, it was time to put the vanity together. I purchased the vanity from walmart.com. It is the Modway Nantucket 24 inch bathroom vanity in white, and it does come with a sink top. The vanity was under $240. It was such a steal because it came with a vanity, which is modern, but not too modern. It's like a modern farmhouse vibe to it. Nice clean lines came with black door poles and the sink top, as I mentioned, which was key for me because I didn't want to buy a vanity and then have to find a sink top that fit it. So for under $250, you get the vanity plus the sink. And then I did have to purchase a faucet and handles separately, but that was totally fine. So I, we're gonna put this vanity together. My husband has helped so much throughout this whole project. He is like the brains behind the operation. I have the vision and he helps me execute everything. Whenever I design anything that we do in our house, he always helps me and I am so appreciative and so thankful. Teamwork makes the dream work and we're gonna tackle this vanity together. If you are here for the first time watching one of my makeover videos, I just wanted to take a moment and introduce myself. My name is Bronte and I have a ton of cleaning motivation on my channel, but I also do DIY makeovers on my channel. I've redone my kitchen, I've redone my master bathroom, and then I have a couple of other smaller DIY kind of deals on my channel here. So if that is your thing, or if you like cleaning motivation, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe. I have so many ideas for my house. We recently bought our house about a year and a half ago, and I have just been making my way through the house, trying to update it and make it my look. So that being said, we are going to add some peel and stick wallpaper from Better Homes and Gardens in this bathroom here. This was my first time installing any sort of wallpaper. I've removed it before, but I have never installed it. And from what I had read and videos that I had watched, you obviously want to measure the space that you are going to be installing. So I measured the wall to get the height that I needed. And then I measured my wallpaper, made a mark, left a few extra inches on the end of it, just so I had a little bit of wiggle room in case there was an area on the wall that was a little bit higher because you know, houses aren't completely level 
walls aren't completely straight. So we're gonna mark off the distance or the height that I needed on the wallpaper, make a mark, make a cut, and then we're gonna start applying it to the wall. The wallpaper was actually so much easier to apply than I ever imagined because it is the peel and stick wallpaper. It's kind of just like putting a sticker on. So I measured the distance that the wallpaper was and then I made a mark on the wall. I took my level and I kind of made a guideline that went straight down the wall, made sure that the guideline was straight and level before applying the wallpaper. And I found that this was perfect. It helped me make sure that I was getting the wallpaper on there straight. So I took the peel and stick wallpaper. I also took a credit card. You can use a gift card, any card, any plastic card. And I just put the peel and stick wallpaper on the wall, just as you would a sticker. If you've never really applied a sticker, you wanna make sure that you're smoothing it out. So I did a few inches at a time. Then I would stick it on there, rub the card on the area to smooth out any bubbles and voila, you just do that and work your way down the wallpaper. So as I mentioned earlier, my walls are very textured. I live in Las Vegas. That's kind of just the deal here. You have very textured walls unless you custom build your home or have a new build and you can ask them to smooth out the walls more. But my walls are very textured, so I did have some difficulty applying the wallpaper. There are some spots that are not perfectly on there. I'm not even gonna sit here and lie and say that everything went as smooth as it could have, but it is what it is. It looks really cute on the wall. It added the perfect amount of texture to the wall that I was looking for and made the bathroom kind of just pop rather than just having stark white walls. But like I said, I did have a little bit of a diff difficulty getting it on there. And at the end of the day, it looks pretty. I don't know if I would do peel and stick wallpaper on my walls again necessarily, but if you have non-textured walls or smoother walls than I do, this wallpaper would be so amazing for you. It was easy to apply. I just have a couple of spots that have bubbles and that's just how it is. So this is the after once the wallpaper was all installed. It was very easy to install, very easy to cut. And now we are gonna change out the light fixture. And by we, I mean my husband because I don't do anything with the electrical stuff. I am not comfortable with it. So he does the electrical and the plumbing stuff because he knows what he is doing. Make sure to cut the power to the bathroom or whatever room before you do any electrical work. Or if you're not really sure what you're doing, hire somebody to help you. You don't wanna get electrocuted. You don't wanna start a fire. So since my husband knows what he's doing, he's gonna change out the light fixture. This light fixture is from walmart.com as well. It will be linked down below in the description box. It is a modern farmhouse vibe to it. It's black and it has a little bit of gold around it. I wasn't able to really get a shot with the gold showing, but if you've been around for a while, then you know I love brass and gold and black and white and I'm just like a super neutral person and gold is kind of like the pop of color for me. So that was the after. We are gonna do a dry run of putting the sink in, figuring out if the plumbing all fits, if we need to fix anything, and everything is starting to come together. I am so excited about it. We got this Delta faucet from walmart.com as well. I will have it linked down below for you. This is a beautiful matte black faucet. It is one of those widespread ones, so it's not like a all in one kind of deal because that's just how the sink was set. And then we also got this mirror. It was a little bit smaller than I had anticipated, but it ended up working. We're gonna do black fixtures in here. And another easy way to update a space is change out the light covers and the outlet covers. These are the ones that are screwless. So you don't see the screw, it gives it a more modern feel. And it's a fairly cheap way of updating the space without doing something that's super drastic. So we're also going to switch out the little light switches to give them a more modern updated look as well and just change out these little light switch plates and just update it that way. It costs pretty much nothing to do it. And like I said, my husband is good with electrical work, so he is going to change those out for us. And I'm just so excited with how everything is turning out. Like I said, these little minor things really just make something pop. 
Like, who knew just changing out the faceplate for light switches would make the bathroom look so much different? So after doing our dry run with the sink and previewing how everything was gonna look, it was time to install it. My husband is gonna handle the sink installation, setting it all up because knowing me, I would probably mess it up or get frustrated while doing it and just give up anyway. So might as well have him take the reins and get it all done for us. While my husband takes care of the sink, I am gonna caulk the bathroom in the spaces where we had to replace the cord around because he wanted to notch it so that the sink and the vanity were up against the wall a little bit more. When we bumped it up against the cord around, they just stuck out too far, it didn't look great. So we notched it by we, I mean he notched it and I'm just gonna do the caulking in here to fill those seams and make it a little bit prettier in here. Eventually I need to re-caulk the whole bathroom. Whoever lived here before us didn't do the most wonderful job with the caulking and painting the trim in the baseboards and all of that stuff in here. So we're just gonna ignore that for now. We're not gonna take care of that right now, but for now I'm gonna caulk the parts that I can and then we are going to install everything and I'm so excited about it. The vanity looks awesome. It is such an upgrade. I do not like pedestal sinks at all. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just not my style. And we needed a little bit of cabinet space as well since we took the cabinet down and we are replacing where the cabinet was with a shelf so that I can actually decorate in here and just give this bathroom some life. Once the sink was on and ready, to go before actually mounting it to the vanity. My husband made sure that the water ran properly and that there were no leaks before we actually like siliconed it down on to the vanity. So that is a tip for you to make it a little bit easier for you if you need to go back and fix the plumbing. Do a little dry run and then make sure everything is working properly before actually sealing the sink to the vanity. Now it is time to build some shelves. I measured out the space that I wanted and I'm gonna be using my heart 10 inch compound miter saw, this is a beauty. This is a beauty. It cuts pieces two by six, so it doesn't cut super wide pieces, but that's fine. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna work around that because I do have a two by eight piece here. Anyways, we are gonna get the miter saw out. We are gonna cut some wood. This is my miter saw and I am so excited about it because this thing is so, so, so nice. It's pretty, has a bag unlike our other one, and it also has a light and when you go to cut your piece of wood it kind of has like a guide on your wood so you know exactly where the saw is going to cut it is such an awesome miter saw i am so pleasantly surprised with it i didn't even realize that a light came on it it's just a really beautiful tool and something to have in your home if you are somebody who wants to do a bunch of diy projects had rave reviews so i'm super stoked on it I'm gonna measure how long I want my wood cut, and then we are gonna get to cutting and putting this baby to work for the first time. I am just going to be using a piece of common pine to make a shelf today. I didn't wanna spend a ton of money on like a higher quality wood and this works just fine. So we're gonna cut this wood. We're gonna flip it over because it didn't cut all the way through because like I said, this miter saw is for two by six pieces, not a two by eight. So we're gonna cut the wood, flip it over and then cut through the other side as well. And then we are going to sand it and stain it and get it ready to throw up on the wall. After cutting it, we wanted to make sure that it actually fit, that we didn't need to take any little bits of, of the wood off and it didn't fit perfectly. So we did have to shave a little bit off. It was kind of cut at an angle. The wood is bowed. So it was a little bit difficult to get it to fit perfectly the first time, but we made it work. So now I'm going to get to sanding and I am going to be using this heart sander, it is a cordless sander and I'm gonna be using some 320 grit sandpaper. The sander is awesome. I 
have never had a cordless sander before and I found that this was so much more convenient than a corded one and it was a lot more quiet but it did the job and it worked really really well. So I'm going to take my piece of wood and I'm just going to kind of round off the edges. I'm going to sand off any dirt or any of the stamp from what the wood is from the store. And then I am also going to smooth out any perfections. Like I said, this was common pine. So it was a cheaper piece of wood. So there were some imperfections on it and there were stamps and dirt and all that stuff. So we're going to sand all of that off. And every time I sand anything, I make sure to wipe it down after. That is so key when you have a stain or a paint that you want to apply to any sort of wood. Make sure that you are wiping down whatever it is that you just sanded after so that you're not having dust particles or I guess wood particles in your paint or in your stain. I'm going to be using this Varathane wood stain in the color flagstone. It is such a beautiful stain. It is neutral. It's not too cool. It's not too warm. And I just used this in my master bathroom makeover that I put up about a week and a half ago. Check it out if you haven't yet. We framed our mirror and it turned out so beautiful, made shelves and all of that stuff. But I'm going to be using this stain. It is very easy to apply, do in a circular motion, leave it on for a minute and then wipe off the excess and then just work your way around your piece make sure that you are staining the sides as well as the back side of it too but this stain is just so beautiful my friend Griselle, who actually has a youtube channel herself has been my inspiration with this color of stain she used it in her kitchen and it was so gorgeous so i've taken on this stain and it is my new favorite to use in my home because like i said it is neutral but it isn't like screaming in your face, anything. Like it's not a crazy stain color. It goes with everything and it's not too warm and it's not too cool. I just really, really love this stain. It brings out the beauty in the wood as well. But like I mentioned earlier, this is a common pine board and it is a little bit more porous. So some areas of the wood did absorb the stain more than I would have liked them to, but it turned out great. It all worked out in the end. So now we are gonna put up the shelf brackets and I'm just gonna measure out where I want them, find how far I want them from each side of the wall. I wanted the piece of wood to go wall to wall, but I did not want the brackets at the very end. So I'm just gonna measure where I want them and then I'm gonna make a little mark, take my level and make a mark down and make sure where I am going to be putting the brackets is all leveled off. Do little circles in there to mark where my screws need to go. And then I am actually going to be using drywall anchors because there was no stud back there. So I'm gonna be using these drywall anchors to install my brackets. These brackets are about 12 or $13 each. And I use these in my master bathroom makeover. I use a little smaller version of them, but they're so beautiful. I love that they have a lip on them and they just give it a modern farmhousey feel in the bathroom or wherever you are using them. And before installing them, I made sure to have my area level. I had to redo it because they were not in the right spot. They were not level. So we're going to go back through, make sure that they're perfect before we drill into the wall. And then I'm going to drill a pilot hole before putting my anchors in. And then I'm going to put the anchors in before putting the brackets up with the screws. Unfortunately, the shelf was a little bit bowed, but we made it work. And I just really love the pop of the natural wood in the bathroom since it is so neutral and monochromatic in here with all the black and the white. So the pop of wood was perfect. And I just shopped my home 
more pieces to decorate. This was actually in our hallway, and I just really love this piece because it is black and white. It's a cactus, we live in the desert, and I just really love this. And then I have some plants. Faux plants, real plants, and a candle by Wild West Wicks, which is a local candle maker here in Las Vegas. Her candles smell amazing. I am obsessed with them. And I'm gonna decorate the shelf with some plants as well as this candle. I shopped my home. These are all things that I already had at home that have just been sitting around or in places that they don't really necessarily fit. And they worked perfectly for this bathroom. I am also going to add a cute hand soap dispenser. It says, wash your hands, you filthy animal. Home Alone, anybody love that movie? And this is by Modern Boston Round. This is a sweet, sweet friend of mine. I have a bunch of her hand soap holders around my house. So I'm gonna add this one to the bathroom. It has this cute little copper top to it and it just kind of completed the look. So now we are gonna do a before shot before I show you the completed after. You guys have gotten little sneak peeks here and there of what the bathroom looks like, but this is the before. We're gonna travel back in time. We're gonna look at what we were working with before so that you can get the full scope of how much the bathroom has been updated. I think that the transformation is so incredible. We just really brightened up the space, gave it a more modern updated look. I love modern farmhouse and like the modern bohemian styles. So I am just completely satisfied with how everything turned out in this bathroom compared to what it used to be, which was all the previous owners taste. This cabinet was theirs. The paint color is something that they had chosen and pretty much everything in this bathroom was something that they had done. We haven't done a ton of updates to the house. I mean, we have, but not throughout the whole house, just tackling one room at a time. And I am so excited with how this bathroom turned out because this is a bathroom that guests use when they come over. Now it's a beautiful, bright space. It's very inviting. It's very open feeling. And it's just completely updated. The white walls, the round mirror, all of the black and white. If you've been around for a while and seen some of my other videos and you know I'm a neutral, Person. I really love neutrals. I love black and white. Black and white is my favorite. I love homes with black and white in it. Not that there's anything wrong with color, but this is just my personal style. And I feel like this bathroom just screams Bronte. And this is just so me. I love how everything turned out. I want to know down below in the comments what your favorite part of this video was. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what your favorite part was. And if you have any questions or if I haven't linked something in the description box, let me know. All of this stuff I ordered from walmart.com and it will all be linked down below in the description box. And I am just so excited to share another makeover with you. Be on the lookout for more to come. I want to redo my laundry room. I want to redo pretty much the whole upstairs of my house. So be on the lookout. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this bathroom makeover, gotten some ideas from it. You can do such small things like changing out the face plates on your light switches, updating the hardware, the towel holder, the toilet paper holder, and get your space updated on a budget or not on a budget, whatever works for you. And just doing little things can completely transform a space. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, got some ideas from it. Give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already and check out some of my other makeover videos as well. Like I said, everything will be linked in the description box. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.